Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Stars. Are these new units or Aurorians good? So what do you think? Put them down in the comment section below if you have reviewed their skills and abilities. But I will be giving my first impressions with them now. Okay, let's start off with the uh, Guile. So True Order Black Magma. Um, he is fire. So, and a sniper, which I think um, fire does not have, um, you know, a good, uh, you know, quality of. So, it's good that um, the sniper class is with fire. He does have a decent um, attack with 3,400. Kind of good, actually, for a sniper. Pretty much high damage already. Because Aurorians, um, sorry, not uh, detonators usually have... Um, uh, they're good when they're around 3.5 or 3.6. 3.4 is definitely going to be good for your sniper. Okay, so let's go through his active skill. Dawn of Isaac. So cooldown is zero. And preemptive strike. So Giles joins the battle with a sanity system, which is actually a new system. Um, this is actually different already from the captain swap. So they're, they're establishing a new system for us. Which I think is more interesting than the Captain Swap mechanic. So, um, he joins with the Sanity System. Uses 15 Sanity Points to deal 333 damage to enemies in 4 adjacent tiles in a cross shape around 1 chosen tile. Deals 2 times damage if the caster's life... Sorry, the tile is selected. After an active skill kills a target, it can be used again. So definitely his um, active skill doesn't really have a cooldown, can be used repetitively. Inflicting final damage to the cost of 2 times sanity points. The drawback of this is um, when you decrease in sanity points. Well, let's say for example, let's go through the, through the sanity system. Max sanity is 100. When sanity is 0, 1% 1 of the team's HP will be substituted for 1 sanity point. Okay, um, at 100, they're still calm. They're still sane. When they go below 100, so 99 to 80, all ally units receive one stack of poison effect. At the start of each round, all Aurorian defense in the team drops by 10%. So there's a drawback to how they, they use their skill. They're kind of crazy, but again, the damage that they deal is very big. So what I'm looking at uh, Giles and the others is... They're going to be in a team wherein they could deal as much damage in a short amount of time. So definitely you're going to be setting them up with a lot of chain combos. And also they're, they, they're going to deal a lot of damage. So they should be there for a short period of time unless you have healers or... I will mention uh, later another, uh, what they call this, another um, Aurorian that can accompany them with this mechanic. 79 to 50, all enemy units are subjected to the above. 49 to 20, a Mirage appears randomly at the start of each round. 19 to 1, ally units gain 4 more stacks of poison effect at the start of the round. Healing effects reduced to 20. Um, insane state, all Aurora defenses, uh, defense reduced to 10. So again, um, as long as you could, I think could, could manage the drawbacks, they will be fine. There is a high risk, high reward kind of vibe to their kit. Uh, moving on to his chain combo, Devouring Lava. So four chain combo deals equal to, deals damage equal to 100% of attack with the lowest HP percentage twice. So there are certain modifiers here. I like this one because as sanity drops, the additional damage also increases. Reduces the final damage by 15% each time and so on and so forth. So you have um, 4 chain, 8 chain, and 11 chain. This is just a high multiplier and um, again, it plays to the sanity system. Um, sanity goes down, damage goes up. And finally, we have his equipment. Fervent Burst activated after killing an enemy this round. Whenever Giles deals damage, damage is increased according to the current sanity. So again, another buff. 
the lower the sanity, the greater damage. The lower the sanity, the greater the damage increase up to 40%. Kill any Mirage uh, additionally increases bonuses by 10%. So again, the mechanic is actually, I think, fun to play with. If you find a solution to how to play them uh, and balancing out their damage output and also their sanity, I think they're going to be a very fun to play group. Okay, moving on. Next, we have Lenore. So she's with the, the Marionette True Order. Uh, she is six stars. Same with Giles or Giles. Uh, she is forest. She's detonator. Definitely, I'm interested to use her in detonator as a detonator class, along with the uh, hero because I will be needing a detonator with high damage output. So her attack is not that high for a detonator. Uh, the Giles actually has higher damage than her. She has three, 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 three. Okay. Um, on to her active skill of Vermilion C. Cooldown is one and has preemptive strike. Lenore uses a sanity system also in battle. Choose any one tile and then select another one tile within two surrounding clusters to generate rec rectangle area, a rectangular area, which... Uh, deals 333% damage and will be dealt to tiles. Each tile in the rectangle deducts 3 sanity points if an enemy sustains damage more than once. Subsequent damage is reduced to 33%. Every time an active skill deals damage, Lenore's max HP is boosted by 3%. Again, she is also using the sanity system that we have um, applicable to Giles as well. Um, I think I like her better. Um, Giles actually has a higher. I think will be have a higher input, but it's it's going to she, he he's going to be a sniper. As for Lenore, she's going to be a detonator, and the damage is in a rectangle area. Okay, so same output as Giles. Uh, uh, we have for active skill with three hundred thirty three percent. So I think she. I, I like her I think I like her active skill more because of um, of the deduction of sanity points. She she deducts a little bit less sanity points, so you can I think control her deduction more. So that is my first impression, guys. We still have to test um both of them yet um in play. So let's move on to her chain combo. So deep stitch sweep. So Five chain deals 130 damage uh, to one row. The lower the sanity, the greater the damage up to 100%. So obviously, um, uh, as you increase in chain combo, the damage to three rows is happening. And at uh, 33 chains, oh my god, this I think this is the highest that we've seen. Um, 32 chains is not impossible, but this requires a lot of prep work with uh with um converters i think you should bring three converters for this one three converters and her and probably the other probably may may can be brought here so um, again uh when sign um for the 33 chain deals 130 damage to five rows when sanity drops below 75 points the triggering condition is reduced to 15 if the insane state reduce if in the insane state, reduce the triggering condition to five. The lower the sanity, the greater the damage increase up to one hundred. So, th the only drawback I think, if you really want to maximize her, you need to reach thirty-three chains. So, for you to reach thirty-three chains, this is going to be really, really far out. Um, it, this is a challenge. This is a good challenge. I think for me, even um, if you pull this off. Uh, the damage is five rows. So again, uh, both G uh, uh, Giles and Lenore have challenges, but I think it's doable. Equipment skill, Marionette Curse. If not in the calm state, the, the at the start of each round, damage um, equal to 1% of the team's max HP to all enemies. So this is an automatic damage. So if not in the calm state, so at the start of the round, so each round she deals automatic damage as long as her max sanity is below 
100. Okay. The lower the sanity, the greater the damage increase up to 10% of the team's max HP. So, she's an automatic damage basically even if she doesn't do anything as long as uh, her sanity goes down. So, I like her kit. I'm interested in pulling for her. The last one is going to be May. So, May is a 5 star. So, Forest she is going to be definitely be good to be paired with Lenore because Lenore is a forest and she's a forest. So definitely both of them would go hand in hand because I'm going to skip to she's a she support class, by the way. Her attack is nearly 300. That's obvious because she's a support. But this is the one that I mentioned earlier that uh, I think may should be paired with either giles or or lenore so active skill precious blossom cooldown is one may is able to change the sanity system for this battle so she's able to tweak her her sanity she 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 can go from sane to insane grants increased resistance to the sanity system's debuff effects debuffs are also weakened restores 25 percent of lost sanity points at the cost of 15 over current hp so definitely when I see all of these, so you have Lenore, you have Mei, you definitely have to have a healer together with them so that she could use that HP to fuel, to restore the sanity points so that you could probably balance it out, not, not go down as much. So the same sanity system is in play. So she's your equalizer um, between uh, Giles and Lenore. So chain combo, abyssal, vines, two chains, deal 155 damage in X shape area. That is difficult to pull off. Seven chain is 155 damage to an X in an X shape area at the maximum range. And her chain combo goes up to 10 chain, deals 170 damage to enemies in an X shape com X shape area of the maximum range. Oh, so the multiplier goes up at 170. Equipment, da Dainty Prudence. Every one sanity point lost restores HP equal to 4% of Mei's attack. So you, if you maximize her out, um, she herself can restore HP. The lower the sanity, the greater the HP re recovery. So she herself... You, you don't really need to bring somebody for for to increase HP. She, she herself increases HP. But um, you might. You might. But if you do, definitely the team with May is going to be comprised of uh, three converters. And and um, May and Lenore. So again, going back, the lower the sanity, the greater the HP recovery up to 100%. Her defense increases as sanity drops up to 100%. She is actually the equalizer. So definitely she's a she's I think uh, going to be available to us. The other two are going to be the ones that we're going to be pulling off depending on our choice. I would suggest we only bring one of them. Um choose either Lenore or or Giles or Giles. So it depends upon you. Um, definitely my recommendation is to bring, is to get Lenore together with me because they're of the same uh, element. Giles, I'm not sure of his secondary element could be, could be forced as well, but I'm not sure at this point. So we'll check that out once this drops and once we have all of them or at least two of them. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far. So give me your verdict on the three of them. Are they good? Are they going to be, um, you know, do they have a place in our meta right now? Do they have a place in our game? Will they be able to carry um, some of our teams? And you decide. Please do comment down in the comment section below um what are your op opinions on them on their kit and um who would you pull are you pulling for giles or are you pulling for lenore okay guys thank you very much for staying this far so if you're still here please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here